Welcome to Trauma Life Support Malaysia. This is the Trauma Moulage Station. In this station, we will demonstrate the techniques to manage a trauma patient in a team following a systematic approach. At the end of the station, students are expected to be able to lead the trauma team. Let's start. 24-year-old gentleman alleged involved in a motorcycle road traffic accident. Upon assessment by PHCP, patient complained of pain over the right chest and right lower limb. Noted active bleeding over right leg with deformity. Patient appears to be tachymic. However, he is able to speak and follow simple commands. ETA 10 minutes. Team, we will receive a 24-year-old motorcyclist involved in a motor vehicle accident with possible chest and lower limb injury. Patient will arrive in 10 minutes. Let us prepare ourselves and the clinical equipment. Ami, you will be in charge of the airway and cervical immobilization. Please prepare the airway equipment with oxygen apparatus and the difficult intubation set. Also ensure that the patient's survival is protected once the patient arrives. Yes, doctor. Tanha, you will be in charge of circulation. Ensure that the vital sign monitors are functioning well. Also prepare two large ball cannulas, one point warm saline, and blood taking equipment. Please put on cardiac monitor and BP cuff once the patient arrives. Send for trauma profile including point of care, full blood count and group cross match as we anticipate massive hemorrhage. Please make sure medications such as analgesics and induction agents are available. Yes sir. Alright team, let's put on PPE before the patient arrives. Sir, 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 are you okay? What's your name? Adam. I'm your doctor in charge. Do you know where you are? At hospital. Ami, please do manual inline stabilization while I remove the cervical collar to assess the airway. Is there any maxillofacial injury, any blood or secretion in the mouth? Is there any gurgling sound, stridor or noisy breathing? I would like to look for any wound, crepitus or bleeding over the neck area. How's the trachea? Is it centrally located or deviated? Trachea is deviated to left side. Ami, please put patient on high flow mass 15 liters per minute. Tanha, while inserting two large ball cannulas, please take plate for formal profile. Also, please give IV analgesic for pain relief. Now we proceed to breathing. Patient appears tachypneic. What is the respiratory rate of the patient? The respiratory rate is 30 per minute. I am inspecting the chest. Is there any wound? No obvious wound seen over the chest wall. How is the chest rise? Is it equal bilaterally? There is reduced chest rise over the right chest. I will now proceed to palpation. Is there any tenderness, deformity, or subcutaneous emphysema palpable? There is tenderness over the right middle chest, no deformity, no subcutaneous emphysema. There is hyper resonance upon percussion of right chest. There is reduced air entry upon auscultation over the right side. Heart sound is not muffled. Okay, team. With the chest findings and oxygen saturation of 91% on high flow marks, I'm suspecting right tension in water rex. Talha, prepare for chest tube while I do a needle thoracic synthesis. Mr. Adam, can you lift your right hand above your head? You will need to do a small procedure on your right chest to remove traps and your right core cavity. Let's reassess back the patient. How is the breathing and the chest rise now? 
medication is less to keep me out of can be dominant by electron chest rises equally. Has the air entry improved? May I know the saturation now? The air entry has improved remarkably. SpO2 is 98% on high flow mass 15 liters per minute. Is the chest tube still bubbling? Any blood seen? Yes, and the chest tube is still bubbling and no blood seen. Now we will move on to circulation. Is the patient's conjunctival pink or pale? The shirt looks pale. What is the capillary refill time? CRP is 4 seconds. Does the hand feel warm or cold? The hand is cold. How is the pulse volume? The pulse volume is cold. Please ensure BP cuff and cardiac monitors are attached. What is the BP and the pulse rate? The blood pressure is 85 over 65 mm mercury and heart rate is 125 per minute. Talha, please run one point of bomb saline. Now I will proceed to look for the source of bleeding. Is there any bleeding? No active bleed. I will perform a back sweep. Is there any blood on my lips? No blood seed. Next, I will do an abdominal examination to look for any wounds. Sir, do you feel any pain? No. No wound noted, abdomen is soft and no tenderness in the Is there any swelling, pain or hematoma in the inguinal region? No swelling, no scrotal hematoma seen. I will perform a gentle pelvis assessment. No tenderness in the Okay, good. Let's check for any deformity, wound or active bleed over bilateral limbs. Ami, please help me expose the limbs. Any deformity or tenderness over upper limbs? Normal bilateral upper limbs. And Adam, can you please lift up both your arms above your head? We will expose the lower limbs. There is deformity and swelling noted on the right thigh with soap bandage noted. Active bleeding seen. Let's reapply the compression bandage and put a spleen. How's the BPA and PTA? What's the color of the toes? All muscles are purple, toes are pink. Sir, can you feel your toes now? Yes, I can. Sir, can you wiggle your toes? Yes. Good, thank you. I will check the toes for CRP. CRP less than 10 seconds. Let's complete the compression bandage, then we will put on the spleen. Now I will reassess the pulses. Sir, can you feel any sensation on your toes now? Yes, okay. Good. Now that the spleen is in place, let's cover the patient up. It looks like one pint's warm normal saline has been completed. Let's continue for second pint. Yes, sir. Can you please repeat the BP and heart rate now? BP 104 over 72, heart rate 100, SPO 200 percent. Okay, good. Patient shows improvement. Please continue monitoring vital signs and inform if abnormal. Next, we go to disability. Let's check the pupils. Is it equal bilaterally? Pupils are reactive bilaterally at 2 mm. I would like to assess the patient's GCS. Sir, what's your name? My name is Kaya. Do you know where you are? I'm in the hospital. Is it morning, afternoon or night? Morning. Good. Patient is orientated to time, place and person. Sir, please lift up both of your arms. Good. Patient's GCS is 15 over 15. It is important to prevent hypothermia. Please cover the patient and use a warmer if needed.
Now, let us reassess the patient's primary severe gain from airway to exposure. How's the patient's airway? Is there any abnormal breathing and what is the SpO2? No abnormal breathing heard and SpO2 is 100% of high flow marks. How is the chest rise and breathing effort? Chest rise is equal and breathing effort is good. Is the chest tube working well? Is it fluctuating? Any bad scenes? Chest tube fluctuating and no bad scenes. Good, we will continue to keep monitoring the chest tube. Next on circulation, how is the patient's blood pressure and pulse rate? EP 120 over 80, pulse rate 80 beats per minute. How is the patient's pulse volume and perfusion? Good pulse volume, all peripheries and CRP less than 2 seconds. Is the patient still pink? Yes, conjunctiva is pink. For disability, is the patient's GCS full? Patient's GCS is still full. It looks like patient's airway is patent, breathing is good, and circulation stabilized. Let's cover back patient to prevent hypothermia and keep the patient warm. Ensure that the active bleeding from right lower limb has stopped. Remember to check the vital signs for bleeding. I've now completed my trauma primary survey. We will now proceed to primary adjuncts. Please do an ECG and insert urinary catheter. I will also perform EFAS to look for any free fluid in the intraperitoneal cavity, pleural and pericardial cavity. To complete the primary adjunct, I would order chest, pelvic and x-ray. Meanwhile, I will complete my secondary survey of examining patient from head to toe. In summary, this is a 24-year-old gentleman involved in a motor vehicle accident. His injuries are right tension pneumothorax with middle thoracocentesis and chest tube inserted subsequently. He has open fracture of right femur with compression bandage and splint applied. I will refer this patient to cyber team for the right tension pneumothorax and on the right open femur fracture for continuation of treatment.